They're pretty excited. In fact, the Romney and Ryan family still on the stage here tonight. You know, it may have taken a long time for Republicans to embrace Mitt Romney, but tonight he is their guy. The question is, did he make the case to the rest of the country to be the next president? The convention comes to a close for Paul Ryan and Mitt Romney, but the search for votes continues. You know, I think what suburban women are mostly worried about is jobs. I mean, look who got hit hardest in this economy. Tonight's theme is we believe in America, but the question will be, will America believe in the Romney-Ryan ticket after this convention? Will they get the bump in the polls that any party wants after a convention? I would feel disappointed if we didn't get a bump of the poll, but I don't think that's going to happen. When the balloons drop tonight, how do you channel the energy in this room all the way to November? You know, I, I think the, the energy over the last few weeks has intensified. You know, ever since Paul Ryan has come on the ticket, uh, we've seen a big increase in energy. Republicans believe they have an edge with Paul Ryan on the ticket, but not a guarantee. Al Gore didn't carry his home state of Tennessee in the presidential election in 2004. I encouraged him to spend as much time and ask the uh, Romney campaign for him to spend as much time in the state as he can, and Romney too for that matter. Don't take it for I, granted just because he's on the I ticket. I think it's winnable, but we cannot take it for granted. Neither will delegates. We love Paul Ryan. I think he's the most amazing addition to the ticket. And, of course, that race with Al Gore was in the U t year 2000. You can see it is still like a celebration inside here at the Republican National Convention. The families, the balloons have, are now coming down. There's about 120,000 balloons, I'm told, that are here, and the celebration continues. You know, a lot of people tell me that uh, it's easy to be a cynic about these speeches and the conventions, but when you are here, there is a lot of energy, a lot of patriotism, and that is on both sides of the aisle. These are amazing events. It is our democracy. It is how we elect our presidents. And on these final days, on this final day here at the Republican National Convention, there's a lot of celebration. These are a time when there's a lot of parties for a lot of speeches. But all of these folks here, especially from the Wisconsin delegation, will go back home and do some of the hard work. They'll maybe be making the phone calls, doing the lit drops, doing all the hard work to try to get their candidate elected and be the next president of the United States.